Well, hey, hey there, folks. It's Jimmy Stewart here, hoping this is finding you all doing well. In today's video, I got a bit of a surprise, and it was kind of a surprise to me, too, because it was a couple of weeks ago that George from Firebird Music messaged me, and he said to me, he said, Jim, do you have a spalted natural 338? And I said, no, George, I do not. I have the Racing Stripe 338. I have my old wine-colored 338 from 2019 and my Gold Top 338 that I still have in a case over there because I keep that one in a case. And he said, would you do a review for me if I send you one? And I said, absolutely, George. I'm always happy to do a review for Firebird Music. And he knows I'll do an honest, upfront review, pros and cons. And lo and behold, in today from UPS just about an hour ago, I got this guy right here. And I'm talking about the 338 from Firebird in the spalted maple top and in the natural finish. And this guitar is very, very cool. Um, I know George knows that I haven't been a big fan of the spalted look. I, for some reason, it just didn't grow on me. And I think he's trying to change my mind. So here's the spalted in natural. And what a gorgeous looking guitar this is, folks. Um, I don't know where to begin outside. Of, hey, let's take a look at the B-roll when I took this out of the box just a few, few minutes ago. Oh, look at this. Oh boy, Christmas joy. New guitar day. It's Christmas joy here at the studio. Here's David. It's a box in a box. Box in a box. Okay, let's see what we got here. From the good folks at Firebird Music. Ooh. Looky there. I like a box in a box with a guitar in the box. All right, end of B-roll time, folks. All right, so here it is. It came in very, very flawless, double boxed. Uh, your Firefly logo's on here, and of course, your bag of goodies, your cord and truss rod adjustment key. Oh, wait. Rubber band, because you know what we do when it's New guitar day. New guitar day. That's right. That rubber band's got to go in there. We'll put that up there for now. So here it is. Again, if you're not familiar with the 338, uh, I always call this the king of Firebird guitars, Firefly guitars, because this was really the first model that they came out with, um, you know, after the starter packages that they released in 2017. This was really the first standalone guitar that they came out with. Uh, and it has been the king seller for them. It is a wonderfully built guitar. These are very, very nice. And since the early days when there was a black finish and a blue finish and a red finish, they've gone and made all kinds of finishes in these guitars, folks. So many that I can't even keep track of them anymore. Uh, every, every burst and spalted look that you can think of, uh, they've done on these 338s. And they're just wonderfully made guitars. As you can see on this, we have a spalted maple top on a mahogany body guitar. Your dual F holes and the F holes are actually uh, got your binding in them and it's very, very well done. This is a semi hollow, so there is a block that comes down here. Uh, you've got your standard stop piece with a two pneumatic bridge, a set of humbucker pickups, dual volume and tone controls, 
your small pick guard off to the side, and this is a three ply pick guard. Uh, you get your trapezoid type of markings that go up the neck, sort of a mother of pearl type of thing. It's a rosewood fretboard. Very, very nice frets. There is no fret sprout on this at all. And again, I just took this out of the box uh, and it's quite cold outside. Uh, you got double bindings going up the side of the neck. This has a bone nut. You've got your painted headstock. Even the, the logo part of this here matches the color of the, of the guitar. And you can see that you have the color going around the painted face headstock. This headstock has changed over the years, as you can see from the 2019 to the newer version. It's got more of a, a crown to it, and it's a little bit more intricate than it used to be. Double bindings on the side. Wait till I show you the back of this. Oh, wait till you see this. Are you ready? Bam. Look, look at the back of this, folks. This is the natural finish. And again, I only saw a couple of very small spots. There's one here, and there's one here. And I think basically what that is is... a Maybe a spot that was in the wood before they went ahead and put the polyurethane finish on here. Um, but again, not a huge deal at all. That's the only thing I can see in this entire guitar, and it looks absolutely wonderful. If it plays anywhere close to how it looks, it'll be another thumbs up. Great job for George and the folks at Firebird Music and Firefly Guitars. Uh, so let's take a close look at it like we always do. We'll do an up close and personal. And then of course we'll do some sound checks as well. So here's the up close and personal on the Firebird Firefly FF338. This the spalted natural version, spalted maple top, natural finish. As you can see, you've got your two viming tone controls and the three-way switch all done in black, your standard stop piece with a TOM bridge, dual humbucking pickups, and the three-ply black pickguard off to the side there. Very nice markings going up, your trapezoid type of markings. This is a set neck 24.75 Gibson scale with really nice frets. The frets feel wonderful. There's no sharpness. There's no sprout. Rosewood fretboard. You've got a bone nut as we get to the top here. And then the newer designed headstock from Firefly. You see the intricacy there on the, on the top of the headstock as compared to the headstock on the older 2019 model. And of course they changed the logo. Double bindings on both sides of the guitar. And I'm going to go ahead and spin it around so you can get a better look at this unbelievable back that's on here. Look at this. Just gorgeous in the natural color. You can see all the wood grain. A poly finish. It is a polyed back neck. And again, I think Firefly uses Jinso tuners, but I'm not positive. But they're holding very, very well, considering I just came out of the box about an hour ago. And I've tuned it once, and it's been staying. The spalted maple top and the natural finish just looks great on this guitar. Again, George knows I'm not a big fan of the Spalted, but I think he's trying to change my mind here because this does look good. FF338 available on www.guitarsgarden.com from the good folks at Firebird and Firefly Guitars. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the up close and personal on the Spalted Maple Natural 338. I gave this a quick tune. And again, I just took it out of the box a little while ago, so I hopefully it will hold for us. Um, we'll get that plugged in, but just, just listen, even unplugged.
The intonation sounds pretty good too, folks. I haven't done a thing to this outside of take it out of the box and just give it a quick tune. The action feels very, very good on this. I, the setup feels wonderful. Uh, let me double check this to see what we got. We have got uh, low E string on the 12th fret, uh, kind of in between the 125 and the 150, five which is very, very nice. And on the 12th fret here, we are looking at on the high E string, a 1.25 so it is set up very nice feels good again these are tens on here that the ship with not my not my gauge I prefer nines but it is sounding pretty nice let me do a, just a quick check of the tuning holding pretty nicely okay let's do some tone checks on this and for all the guitar geeks out there like me that want to know some specs, again, uh, I will list them here very, very quickly. As far as weight, you're just looking at just over seven pounds and some change. Uh, you've got a 43 millimeter at the bone nut on this. Um, and of course, I'll give you the measurement at the 12th fret as well. I also did some dialing in on my uh, radius gauges to see if I could figure out what the radius on this actually was. Now I was under the impression years ago back in 2019 when I got my first 338s that they were 12s and I've put a 12 on this and I put a 12 on this and you can see the difference. The 12 on this I believe is accurate. A 12 on this you got some you've got some gaps so I went and I tried a 14 and I tried a 16 and I tried a 17 and actually, when I got to a 20, the 20 seemed to fit the best. So I have heard that they have flattened out the necks a little bit on these and on a lot of the Firefly guitars. And a 20 seems to fit this well. Whether it truly is or not, I don't know. I mean, my gauges aren't the best in the world. They're, they're accurate as far as I know. But uh, this does feel a little flatter. Feels very smooth. I mean, it, it really does feel nice. bridge the intonation sounds pretty good
Sounds good. The color of this, that natural look, you know, kind of reminds me of the John Lennon natural casino that he stripped down to the natural thing there. But can it rooftop? Well, maybe she be traveling on the one after 909. Move over, honey, traveling on that line. I said, move over once, move over twice. Come on, baby, don't be cold as ice. Instead of traveling on a one after 909. You dump the bags, run to the station. Real man says, I got the wrong location. Well, you dump the bags, run right home. Then I find I got the number wrong. Well, my baby chief is traveling on the one after 909. Move over, honey, traveling on that line. I said, move over once, move over twice. Come on, baby, don't be cut as ice. Said, I'm traveling on the one after 90. Said, I'm traveling on the one after 90. Said, I'm traveling on the one after 909. I guess it can rooftop. Oh, Danny boy, it's old Susanna calling. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, man. The uh, 338 spalted maple top, mahogany body and neck, set neck, just a gorgeous back, natural finish. Very nice tuners. I believe, again, I think Firebird uses Jinho, but I'm not positive. Bone nut, nice painted headstock, dual humbuckers, volume and tone control, three-way switch, black tone and volume controls. I just noticed that. They're black matching the pick guard. It is a three-ply pick guard as well. Wow. My thanks to George and the folks at Firebird Music. Thank you so very, very much. I love the 338s. Again, I think they're the king of guitars for Firebird Music and Firefly. Uh, they're just wonderful. Just a wonderful guitar. You can get all kinds of good stuff out of them, really. Uh, play just about anything you want on these. And it's comfortable, not too heavy. Thumbs up to George and the folks at Firebird. Thank you so, so much, folks. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up for today. Thank you to all the subscribers that have come over to the channel and the folks that have been stopping in. If you're still on the fence, however, about subscribing, that's right. Come on over to the good side. We would love to have you on board. Okay, folks, so until next time, it's Jimmy Stewart saying so long. Please take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Please be kind to each other. The holiday season. And we'll talk to you all again very, very soon. Yes, I'll leave you a little outro. We'll put a, a little snot on it and see what it sounds like. Okay? Bye-bye for now, folks.